Hello everyone. Let me start with a question. I am sure every one of you would have heard the phrase one man army at least once in your life. But, how many of you know the real meaning of one man army? The synonym of one man army that every dictionary has missed, is a man named Jeshwant Singh Ravit. You may ask why did I do such build up? But, you will understand why by the end of this video. In this video, we will be looking about the valor and courage of a 22 year old boy who was a normal Indian rifleman among others. But, had single handedly won a battle for India. Not against any weak nation, but against one of the biggest militaries of all time. But a question can arise in your mind. Isn't India a strong military? But, the incident I will be narrating dates back to 1962. At that time, India was a newly independent nation and had not as strong military as today. Even in that era, a 22-year-old boy had killed 300 highly trained and skilled opponent soldiers. When you hear the word war in India, you would probably think about the Indo-Pakistan War. But that's not the war we would be discussing today. The war which we will be discussing about is the Sino-Indo War away back in 1962. We Indians had been looking at China as a friendly neighbor, and had thought that they too had the same opinion about us. But we realized that our assumption was wrong only in the year 1962. Now we will be time traveling to 1962 to recount the valor of that special soldier. The soldier in the question is Jeshwant Singh Ravid who went up against 300 enemy soldiers all by himself. This man is compared to a guide in Arunachal Pradesh. If there is a state with the name of Arunachal Pradesh in India today, it is all because of this 22-year-old Braveheart. You may ask what has he done to be seen as a god? That's what I will be saying you today. Without further ado, let's begin the tale of one of the bravest men India has ever known. The year was 1962, it was a normal day in India until soldiers knew that an attack from China was awaiting them. The attack was unexpected and China invaded India through various places including Arunachal Pradesh. The situation was turning worse and worse for India. India was fighting a losing battle at many places including Accent China, Tibet, Sikkim, etc. This news was spreading to the borderline including the line in Arunachal Pradesh. The battalion did not want to lose and they just managed to hold on. The Chinese soldiers tried to invade three times and India had managed not to lose. Chinese used machine guns, but India was relying only on rifles. But, the Indians still tried to hold on. After three attempts that went in vain, the Chinese formed a strong army with thousands of troops. This was the Chinese army's fourth assault, in the last charge as a final insult. As the sun rose over the eastern Himalayas around five and the Chinese troops mounted another assault. The Indians knew that they could not withstand another invasion. And orders had come from the central government to stop trying and to surrender. Because, the Indian government could not provide adequate troops and military equipments. And every Indian soldier retreated after losing hope. But, the strongest heroes arise in the toughest times. Similarly, this is where the story of a 22-year-old Indian soldier begins. His name was Jeshwant Singh Ravit, he opposed the decision to give up. He questioned everyone, should we quit if the opponent is strong? He said that he would be there and defend his nation till his last breath. Many senior officials were laughing at the innocence of Jeshwant Singh Ravit. Now, Jeshwant Singh Ravit thought that he would have to fight the battle alone. But still he knew that the birds that fly alone have the strongest wings. And he set off to fight the battle alone. His courage had inspired two more soldiers in the camp, namely Gopal Singh and Three Lok Singh. Both of them joined Jeshwant Singh Ravid on his campaign against the Chinese army. The senior officials asked them if they had some value for their life. But, the three soldiers, Jeshwant Singh, Gopal Singh and Thriluk Singh had the nerves of steel even at their tender age. They were ready to spend every ounce of their energy for the nation. They believed that dying as a warrior is much worse than living as a slave under the Chinese. Since the three soldiers were reluctant to obey the higher officials, everyone else went back home leaving the three behind. Still the three soldiers never took a step backward, and they started to devise a master plan. 
Their plan was to form a triangular base and start firing bullets from there. Now, the Chinese could not see how many members were firing bullets at them, they could only see bullets approaching them from different directions. Through this plan, they could make three people seem like there were 3,000. The day was November 17, 1962. The sun had rose, the altitude was 10,000 feet, and the stage was set for a wild battle. At one end was the Chinese army who had come for the fourth time with a strong battalion, each having a machine gun. On the other side were three men with ordinary rifles. The battle had began without any bugle to be blown. That was the Battle of Nurnong. As per the plan, the three Indians started to fire bullets in all directions. It was dense mountain and thus the Chinese army could not see the number of Indians. The battle went on for a few minutes. By this time, the trio had killed around 25 opponents. But, they could not manage further with their rifles. Unloading, reloading and then firing was a tiring process. Now, the trio made another plan. Each one of them would step into the Chinese border and bring the machine guns of the Chinese soldiers whom they had killed. Basically, they planned to kill the Chinese with their own weapons. Since there was constant firing from both sides, each soldier had to creep till the Chinese border to avoid being hit by the bullets. In this process, two soldiers had died. One was hit by a bullet and the other was caught by the Chinese, leaving Jeshwant Singh stranded. Jeshwant Singh now had a machine gun that he stole from the Chinese army, but he too was severely injured while bringing the machine gun. But, the injury did not stop him. He was ready to give his life for something bigger than oneself. But still, the Chinese did not know that there was only one soldier fighting for India. They know that two soldiers had tried to steal their weapons. But they did not know how many opponents were against them. They were still thinking that there would be more than a thousand people as the bullets were approaching them from every direction. Now, Jeshwant Singh could not manage alone and thus took the help of the locals. Few say that Jeshwant Singh had a girlfriend who had come to help him. And another woman who was his girlfriend's friend who accompanied them. The names of the two women are Sila and Nora. This is where we come to know the bravery of a normal Indian woman. The job of these two women was to be in the same position as Gopal Singh and Trilok Singh and create a feeling among the Chinese that they were fighting against an entire army and not just the three people. Now, the sad part is that the two women did not know to use rifles. So, Jeshwant Singh had to move from corner to corner and fire bullets from each end. First he would come and shoot with the first gun, then the second, next the third, and back to the first. And the duty of the women was to reload the bullets when Jeshwanth was away, and keep it ready for him to come to their place and fire them. And even with severe injuries, Jeshwanth Singh went from end to end and kept firing bullets continuously for 72 hours, which is three days and three nights continuously. The even astonishing thing is that, not even one bullet was shot on him. In these 72 hours alone, Jeshwant Singh killed more than 300 soldiers single-handedly. The Chinese still had no clue how many members were there. They were thinking that there would be at least a thousand or ten thousand soldiers fighting against them. Now, the Indian army had sent someone to supply food to Jeshwant Singh Ravid. Unfortunately, the Chinese had caught the food supplier and asked him to say how many members were fighting the war for India. When the food supplier was reluctant to say the truth, the Chinese brutally assaulted the supplier to say the truth. After a long time, the supplier opened up the fact that only three people were fighting for India. This statement pierced into the ears of the Chinese like an arrow. Till now, the Chinese soldiers were afraid to cross the border as they had been thinking that they were fighting against a large troop. But, as soon as they had come to know the fact, the Chinese entered the border and killed the two women. Now, Jeshwant Singh was alone. He knew that the Chinese were surrounding him and were in search of him. He knew that he would be caught and killed by the Chinese. But, Jeshwant Singh believed that being killed by an enemy was a matter of humiliation. So, Jeshwant Singh committed suicide by shooting himself with a gun. While all these had been happening, 
the news of the bravery of Jeshwant Singh was spreading like wildfire among the locals and was relayed to the Indian Army. Now the Indian Army was motivated. If a 22-year-old can manage a battle alone for 72 hours, why can't an entire army do the same? With full aggression, the Indian Army came forward to fight the battle. Now, the Chinese came to know that an army was approaching them. With that fear, they ran off to their border carrying the head of Jeshwant Singh that they had chopped off. Jeshwant was the motivation to the army who prevented the Chinese from annexing Arunachal Pradesh. The war was over. And after few months, the Chinese army which was bamboozled on seeing the dedication of such a young lad for his nation had returned his head back to India. Along with that, the Chinese gifted a brass statue on his honor. The Chinese themselves honored him. Should I say something about India? The Indians named the place where he shot himself as Jeshwanthgar. A hut constructed over the spot where he was martyred, houses a bed which is constantly made by one of the five army men at the post, his shoes are regularly polished, and letters by his well-wishers are presented to Jeshwant Singh every day and taken away the next day after he's gone through them. Even after half a century of this incident happening, even today, Jeshwant Singh is being taken care of as if he was alive. He was posthumously awarded the prestigious Mahavir Chakra by the government. Not only him, Gopala and three Lok Singh too were too awarded the same. A movie named 72 Hours, A Martyr Who Never Died, based on his life was made in his commemoration. The trailer of the movie is towards the end of the video and its link is in the description. I haven't watched the movie for two reasons. First of all, I have never watched a movie till date and wanted to maintain the record. Secondly, the movie is in Hindi which is a language I didn't know. But, I recommend the people watching this video to see that too. Back to the topic, just like Jeshwant Singh Ravit, every one of us is a hero. A hero is not one who does not have fear, but the one who conquers it. Even Jeshwant Singh didn't have the heart of a lion. But, he still believed in himself and feared something named fear. Now, it is we, who have to fight for the nation. We need not go to a battlefield to fight. We can fight for the country just by sitting at our homes in this situation and by maintaining social distancing. With this note, I would like to end today's video. I will see you in another video. Till then, goodbye. एक वीर था इस देश का जो लड़ा था कभी अपने देश के लिए लेकिन उसे लड़ते हुए किसी ने नहीं देखा वो एक जाबाज था मुझे ऊपर से ऑर्डर मिला है कि मैं ये पोस्ट छोड़ दें साहब मैं पोस्ट नहीं छोड़ूंगा मैं पोस्ट नहीं छोड़ूंगा साहब मरूंगा यहीं मरूंगा पर ये पोस्ट नहीं छोड़ूंगा जंग गोला या बारूद से नहीं जीती जाती जंग जीती जाती है तुम्हारे जैसे सिपाहियों के होने से बहुत कड़वाल राइफल्स बेयोनेट की नोक पे चलती है मैंने तुमसे कहा था कि मैं भी लड़ूंगी तुम्हारे साथ मिलके। हमने हिम्मत नहीं आ रही है साहब हम आखिरी सांस तक लड़ेंगे लौटे न लौटे ये बक्से लौटे न लौटे लेकिन हमारी कहानियां जरूर लौटेंगी